great news. You've finished the tutorial on the Gmail and Drive. Now you have to learn how to send your assignment. Your assignment was your letter to your family. And in that tutorial, you learned a few different things. You learned how to upload pictures and videos into your drive. You learned how to create a file folder. You learned how to move your files into your folders. And you learned to rename your, your files. You even learned how to create a letter, add and insert pictures, format the letter, and now in this assignment, you're going to learn how to download your letter as a PDF and then upload it into a composed email. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to click on our drive and we'll look in our drive to find the letter that we have created. You see this in blue, it indicates that it is a document. So what this means is the file extension name is .docx. If you were to download this and send it in an email, a couple of different things could happen depending on the person who's receiving it and what kind of application they're using to open it up. They may not be able to open up the document as a, a .docx, or if they do open up the document, the text and the images may skew across the page and it would no longer make sense. So what we want to do is save this as a portable document or a PDF. An added advantage to that is that when they open that document, they're not able to make any physical changes to the document. If you had sent it as a .docx and that person was successful in opening it, they have the opportunity to actually change the text or the images in the document. What we're going to do is open up our letter to our family and then in the top left hand corner you'll see there are some menu options here. We want to click on file. A drop down box appears and we see the icon with the file folder tray and the downward facing arrow. As we scroll across, we see the right sided triangle indicating that there are more options to be seen. And here we have a drop down box and we are going to save it as PDF document dot PDF. So the file extension would say letter to family dot PDF. All right, let's click on that. And then down in the bottom corner here, it's given us a message saying it's download manager has completed the download of letter to family .pdf, and it's showing you the extension here of how it was saved. If you are confused about where to find it, you can click in show in folder and it opens up your file documents. And we can see at the very top is your letter to family and it's highlighted in blue. Okay. So we see it there, let's close out of here, and now we're going to go back to composing our email. I want you to just minimize this internet browser, and you'll head back into your Gmail account. All right, so here we see our Compose button. We're going to click on Compose, and in your two, you're going to type in Oladele Tiger at gmail.com. In your subject, always make sure as good practice that you always put a subject in your email. And our subject is letter to family. Click in the body of the email. There are two ways to upload this letter. The first way is to head to your drive and you can click on your drive right here. I'm going to go up into the top right hand corner and click on the double headed arrow to make my compose box a little bit bigger. It's easier for me to see and navigate. And then we're going to add our PDF in two different ways. First we're going to go to this icon which is your drive and we're going to click on the drive. It's going to open up the drive 
file folder and I'm just going to scroll up, click on letter to family. It's been highlighted here and now I'm going to insert that into the body of my email. The second way to upload this letter is to come down to this paperclip and this paperclip is a universal for attachments. So you want to click on attachments, it opens up my files which is connected to your Chromebook. We're going to scroll down this list until we find letter to family PDF. Let's click on that and we're going to open it and here you can see that it's thinking when you see your file in this blue color that indicates that it is a hyperlink and you can tell when you scroll off when you scroll back on you see the finger pointer which indicates that you can click on this so that's a, a good way to know that your file has attached to the email okay so we've attached them in two different ways and I'm going to press send and here you see right in Oladele's box a letter to family and we can clearly tell that the PDF has attached itself. Let's click on this and you can see both documents are here and this one says shared in Drive. If we were to open this one what might happen is you might have to ask for permission to take a look at it even though it was sent to you through Google Drive, there is a, like a two-step verification and Google Drive wants to make sure that you are the recipient and you were supposed to receive that particular document. So if you were to click on that document, it may pop up a box that says you have to ask for permission from the original sender. So then you would just click on that and that person on their side would give you permission to take a look at that file. Bonus question, I've made a mistake in the body of this email. Send your answer to the SDLP participants WhatsApp group. We can't wait to see your letter to family. Just remember that you can always have someone help you when you're doing this. There is no pressure and the most important thing is that you try and you practice.